This is the 12th year that we produced the Willamette Living History Tour, which is a reenactment of the year 1922 this year. The Living History Tour is described as a promenade style theatrical production where we have uh, eight different scenes that take place in different houses around the neighborhood. And so the guests, they kind of act like flies on the wall as they get to see what life was like back in 1922. The purpose is to really immerse you in the feel of what it would have been like. You know, you can watch a movie, but you're watching a screen. So to be able to really be essentially almost in the scenes, in the houses with the characters, in a screen-free, technology-free kind of way, just to just have this kind of experience. I'm gonna all let you off with a warning this time, okay? Yeah. But don't let me catch you again. Historical recognition to the neighborhood itself and the fact that a lot of these venerable old houses had a history, many histories perhaps, elopements, deaths, births, marriages, and to delve into that history because the houses are still here and some of the families are still available to contact, quite an interesting thing to do. It's fun to be a superhero a hundred years ago <laughs> and to have owned an automobile was really an exception to the rule. Most people were still riding bicycles, walking, You'll even see horses and, and a carriage in this production. So it was a real transition time. It just lets us portray the way life was maturing and changing. The main thrust of the whole thing is everything is getting so busy and so sped up. And my one of my lines is, you know, we all used to move a lot slower back then. So you just get to walk around and I like doing all kinds of things and pretending I'm a totally different person. So I'm not usually one person for a very long time. And I think my favorite part is getting in the costumes because there's most of the time a, cost a new costume every year. I had the same costume yes last year though. Not yesterday. The historical tour, it just feels like the whole neighborhood's getting together. And it feels like people have pride in what they're doing and for folks who are coming from outside of the neighborhood or other towns, it kind of brings a sense of community. So it's fun to showcase the, the homes, but it's also just fun to watch each other play. I'm a drama teacher myself, and that's, that's my job, and I enjoy getting to step into the acting role. And it's also just cool to see community theater, that people get together and put on shows and tell stories to preserve history, so I really enjoy it. It makes it easier for to look back at where you've been, and it, it's, it's also a good way to stay connected to our past and, and what made this such a great community. Everything we do, is actual. This has actually happened in the West Lynn area. And so it's just not a make-believe uh, kind of a deal. It's actually history, you know. And uh, so we like to project that and, and have other people realize because there's still a lot of people in West Lynn that aren't even aware of, of the heritage. It's been fun to experience and do exercises because I love acting and I love showing my face and I love doing all that. Thank you.